everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup look that I'm loving type of tutorial. So I'm just going to be talking you through the makeup as I apply it and I'm gonna be using this baby. So if you wanna hear my thoughts and if you want to see how to achieve this makeup look, just keep watching. All right, so my skin is nice and prepped because I'll be using the Giorgio Armani Power Fa Fabric. If you've watched the last tutorial that I did in which I talked about this foundation, I like the way it performs on 90% of my face, but it, um, it kind of tends to cling along dry patches and it kind of tends to look weird on my nose. So I'll be showing you what I do to kind of get around that. And I just use about a pump and a half of the product and I like to spread it out with my fingers first, and then I go in with a beauty blender. As you will notice, I'm completely avoiding my nose area. So on my nose, I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Waterproof Concealer, and this is in the shade 2W, and I'm just taking a tiny little bit of this on my index finger, and I'm applying it on my nose. And then I'm blending it out with a beauty blender. It lasts all day. I don't have any wear time issues with this. For my under eye area, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in shade number 10. I have not been sleeping well this week, so I need all the brightening I can get. Next, I'm going to spot conceal with the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage Concealer in shade SC3. And I kind of customize the color as I go along. I really like using this, especially in the summertime. It works really well. It's very long lasting on blemishes, acne scars. If you have oily skin and you tend to have trouble with concealers lasting on your blemishes or scars, try this concealer. It is, um, it, it's a bit of a learning curve trying to use it because it's quite a hard waxy texture. Sometimes you need to warm it up with your fingers first, but I love it. It's one of my all time favorite concealers, although I really do love the NARS concealer too. I am setting my under eye area with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, and I'm applying it with the damp beauty blender sponge. Brush away any excess. I'll prime my eyelids with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Fun fact, this is the very first makeup product that I bought because of YouTube. This is like the OG YouTube made me do it product. And back in the day, it used to be sold in a, uh, it almost looked like a mascara wand tube and it looked like a genie bottle. And people would post videos of how to hack it, how to make sure you get the most product out of the packaging because the uh, packaging was terrible. Anyway, speaking of Urban Decay, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. I love this palette. I, I'm kind of like Goldilocks when it comes to the Urban Decay Naked Palette. I bought the Urban Decay Naked Basics Palette, the first one. Um, but aside from that, this is the only Naked Palette that I own. And the first Naked Palette was too shimmery for me. The second one was too cool toned. The third one was too pink. The smoky one was just too dark. I don't do smoky eye makeup that often. And then this one is just right. <laughs> I love this and obviously I'm sure you've seen 100,000 YouTube videos on this palette already, but I really do love it. I am a big, big fan of warm brown eyeshadows. So this is just right up my street. I find the quality, especially the quality of the matte shadows in this palette, I find it to be a little better than the matte shadows that I have in the Naked Basics palette. And then I also have a couple of matte eyeshadows that I just bought the just single shadows from Urban Decay. I find the formula of the matte shadows in this palette is a little bit more creamy and just an overall joy to blend. I am going to just show you the look that I've been gravitating towards lately, like my go-to look with this palette. It's a look that you can easily wear to work or you can jazz it up with a bright lip and a winged eyeliner and you can go out with it at night too. So I will start with a fluffy brush in the shade Chaser and I'm just going to kind of prime my crease with this color. Then with the same brush, I take the shade Sauced and I literally dab my brush twice in the color and look how nice it spreads out just two little dabs and I can get a really nice smooth 
crease application. Really like this. I used to use MAC Soft Brown or MAC Texture as a crease color a lot, especially during the work week. Lately, I've just been using this shade. Then I'm going to take a MAC 217 brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Low Blow, slightly darker, warm brown, and I'm just using that on the outer corner and the outer part of my crease. You can see so many beautiful, dramatic, really, really rusty looks with this palette already on YouTube, and they're all executed so well and way better than I could ever provide because I'm not a professional makeup artist. I'm just a regular girl who likes to hoard all the beauty products. I thought I would show you how I like to wear this, how I've been wearing this over the last couple weeks. I'm gonna take whatever's left over on my brush with that low blow shade, I'm just gonna blend it out on my lower lid as well. Next, I'm gonna take the brush that's actually in the palette, the domed shape, and I'm gonna use the last two, like the dark shades, ashes and ember. I'm gonna mix them together, smoke out the outer corner just a tiny little bit. And then again, I'm taking whatever's left over on the brush and smoking out the lower lash line a little bit. Then I'm gonna dip it into the shade Lom Lombre, which is a really nice shimmery copper shade. And I'm applying that color all over the lid. I'm kind of patting it on. And then I'm gonna go in with the shade Ounce. Ounce seems to be the most hated shade from all the videos that I've watched. I actually like it. I don't like shimmery brow bone highlights. So for me, this is a like perfect brow bone highlight color. It just has a very soft satin finish. I'm just applying this a little bit on the inner corner. I'm not gonna be using an eyeliner on my top lash line, but I will be using this gorgeous, gorgeous eyeliner from Clarins. This is in the shade 07 Copper. I don't know if this is limited edition. It might be, it might just be a summer shade, but I love it. I love using this in the waterline, especially with warm brown eyeshadows. Looks so good. So I'm gonna be using this both on the lower lash line and in the waterline. I am using the Bare Minerals Bare Pro powder in the shade Golden Nude. Doing a little bit of contouring with the Kevin Aquan sculpting powder in the shade medium, and this is a Wayne Goss number 12 brush. I like to just stamp on the product and then I kind of blend it up with the brush to get a more diffused look. For bronzer, I'm using the Becca Sunlit Bronzer in the shade Capri Coast. I love this. The love for this bronzer is real. And I'm using a MAC 187 brush to apply this buffing it on, on the perimeters of my face. For blush, I'm using Marc Jacobs Kinks and Kisses. And then whatever I've left over my blush, I always kind of go across the bridge of the nose, just a little bit. Makes everything look a little bit more natural. For brows, I'm using Anastasia Brow Wiz and the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. This is the Lancome Eyelash Primer. And then this is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara, which is really nice. When I first got it, I didn't love it. It was just okay. But it's one of those mascaras that definitely gets better with age. I've been using it for like two, three weeks now, and now I feel like it's getting really good. For the lips, I'm going to show you three options. First, I'm gonna line my lips. This is the Armani Lip Pencil in shade number 12. It's just a nude lip shade that kind of matches my natural lips. And in my favorites video, when I mentioned that I like to wear these two lipsticks together, a lot of people wanted me to show it in action, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna use MAC Angel. And then I'm gonna take Chanel Rouge Allure Velvet Lipstick in shade Le Clotant, which is a really nice bright pink. And I'm using this on the inner portion of my lip and then just softly blending it out. It just looks like a very soft, worn-in pink lip. It has a very slight 
ombre effect. You can obviously make it more intense if you want, but this is one of the lip color combinations that I've been wearing a lot. The other combination is also with a bit of lip liner. Then I go in with the Clarins Lip Oil. This is the pink one. It's shade number four and it's called Candy. It smells like candy and I love it. It's so comfortable to wear. Um, the wand is funny. It's this really big, kind of slightly bulbous tip, but it smells, it smells amazing. It's really comfortable on the lips. It's not drying at all. So this is another lip option, and my god, these smell so good. <laughs> Again, just topping up the lip liner. MAC Strip Down Lip Liner is very similar to this. Or if you want a drugstore option, the Milani Lip Liner in the shade Nude is my absolute favorite. So the lip color I'm gonna end up with for this look is my beloved Burberry Pink Peony Kisses Lipstick. Love this formula. I've talked about this lipstick a lot when I first got it in the spring and I still love it. So this is the finished look. I'm going to go and throw some messy waves in my hair. All right, so this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed it. For my outfit, I'm wearing a blouse from Zara. This is from last year, but I did find a very, very similar one online from a different brand, which I will link below. My jeans are rag and bone boyfriend jeans and I'm wearing Gucci slippers. This is kind of just a very chill, very, very comfortable off-duty type of look. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.